Over the last few hundred years, composers have used a number of techniques to be able to create cohesion while still having variety. And what they've often done is they've got a small musical idea called a motive or motif and used various variation techniques on it. So we're going to look at some of these. So let's start with creating a motive. And a motive can be thought of as something which has got a distinct rhythm pattern with a melodic contour. So let's create some rhythm pattern. Let's do something very simple. Okay, something very simple. Sounds like I'll go back to the beginning. Okay, simple. Now we'll uh, apply a pitch contour to it. I'll just make some notes go up. Okay, we are going to work in a atonal sort of uh, context where because although the, all of this stuff works perfectly well with tonal music, uh, the transformation techniques may need to be altered a little bit to fit the keys. So we'll just make this a little bit uh, more dissonant. So let's make that, that. Make that. Spell it whichever way we like, but that will do for now. Okay. Now let's make a, a bigger leap there. So. Hmm, let's make that flat. Okay, we can experiment with the contour more, but that's okay for now. So we can use that as our basic motive. So let's do some simple variations on it. The obvious one, oh, let's give it a name, let's call it a motive. It's, uh, what am I doing? Text. Plain text. Okay, so we know we've got that. So let's copy everything and make a variation on it. Well, one of the obvious things is oh, to just play it again, but at a different t pitch level. We can transpose it. So like that. Play the whole lot. Okay, that's one approach. We could also try a different thing. of it there and what we could do we could take out notes that we don't want we could skeletonize it let's uh, remove some of these faster notes so let's make that one of those let's get rid of that and make that there and make that longer. 
So now we've got the same basic shape, but with a slightly different rhythm. Here it is. Okay, so it retains some of the character, but it's a bit different. We could do the opposite. We could add more notes to it, filling in the gaps. Okay, we could take this one here and maybe add another note there. And maybe we could take this and add another note here. And maybe we'll add another note. Oops. There. Wrong again. Okay, that was what I was trying to do. Now let's listen to the motive the, with our new added notes version following it. Okay, so that's obviously sounding like a, uh, a recognizable uh, transformation. Another thing we could do, we could get our motive and can, we could prolong it. Here's the original. We could just do maybe an extra note on the end. Or an extra two notes. Like that one. Or maybe. And that one. Let's uh, change that. And maybe do that. 